Hey, just making a quick video here. I'm in the process of re reviewing the uh, LG 48 inch OLED as a computer monitor, primarily for gaming, but also other stuff. But I have an RTX 2070, which doesn't have an HDMI 2.1 port. So the issue with that is the um, capabilities of this TV are based on HDMI 2.1. With an HDI, HDMI, I can speak, 2.1 connection, you can go all the way up to 100 and uh, sorry, 120 hertz, 4K, uh, variable refresh rate with HDR and full 10-bit colors. An HDMI 2.0 port, which is on every GPU that I'm aware of before the RTX 3000 series and AMD RX 6000 series, um, only goes up to HDMI 2.0 if you have one of, uh, one of those GPUs, like my RTX 2070. However, there's a bit of a hack here, and we'll talk about that. But first, let's just go through all the settings. Um, in this video. By the way, this is not my full review of the TV. I just want to put out a video about this for anybody this is interesting for. Expect a full review on the TV coming up soon. Um, first impression off the first few days with this thing is amazing. I'm never going back. I, it, it's good. It's good. Some small issues I've got so far, and we'll see if the honeymoon period wears off. Anyway, uh, let's hop over to the screen here. I guess I'll just film the screen instead of screen capturing today. So you will notice that I am running at 120 hertz 4K, but what's the trade-off? You'll notice that to do that, you are in what's called chroma subsampling, where you are doing 420 on the colors. And, I've, and the thing is, you will mostly not notice this if you're playing games or whatever. It's only more noticeable um, in certain text on certain background colors, things like that. Honestly, it looks pretty good. The main trade-off with this 120 hertz mode is that it only supports SDR. It doesn't support HDR, and a lot of people buying a TV like this is because you want HDR. If you back off down to 60 hertz, give it a second to process, but if you back out down to 60 hertz, you're now gonna notice um, that we have high dynamic range, and we switched over to RGB instead of the 420 chroma subsampling. So um, those are all you can do, right? So that's all you can do if you're just using the HDMI 2.0 port on your graphics card. Here's where the little life hack comes in. You can also buy something like this. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in this. Um, if I cover up my eyes here, the camera will actually focus on it, I think. Focus on it, there we go. This is a USB Type-C to 8K HDMI adapter. And what does that mean? Well, a lot of GPUs, I think all the RTX 2000 series, although I could be wrong, maybe it's not all of them, at least mine, has a USB Type-C jack on the back of the graphics card. So I was curious, um, does that mean I can actually just use this adapter to then get the full HDMI 2.1 spec coming out of there? And the answer is sort of almost. There's a small catch. So... I'll, I'll tell you a bit about it as I, I go actually plug this thing in, and, and then we, we can see it. I don't know if I'll edit this part out of the video or not, but we're popping in behind the PC. Um, set this down here while I do it and just kind of talk to you guys. So I'm uh, unplugging the HDMI uh, cord out of the 2.1 slot, and I am reaching back here and grabbing the little... Um, uh, dongle, grab the dongle, inserted plug, and we're good to go. Let's head, whoop, just knocked one of my lights over. Yeah, this is one of the more like behind the scenes type videos, guys. Try to get the light to not fall over. Um, yeah, we're just, we're, we're just rolling with it, guys. We're just rolling with it. All right, we're back over to the TV. And um, so, so, so what do we got going now? If we jump back in here, let's take a look at what we're able to do. So we now have what seems to be the full specs. We have 4K, wait, 60 hertz. Can we bump up to 120? Give it a second to process. Give it a second to process. Keep changes. And it did it. We are at 120, 4K. 10-bit color, not 8-bit, RGB, no 420 uh, subsampling, and we are in HDR. So, we did it, right? Well, kind of, there's a tiny downside to this, which may or may not be a big deal to you. 
The TV will not work with G-Sync or FreeSync when using this adapter. Unfortunately, that port out or uh, something about this connection doesn't work with G-Sync. So, you get the full spec on everything except for that. Now, does that matter really in games? I've only tested it for a couple hours now, and what I've noticed is a bit hit or miss. I actually haven't seen a lot of screen tearing, even when I'm not locked at that 120 hertz, which is most of the time because I have a RTX 2070 trying to run at 4K here. <laughs> anyway, um, but I will say that I think sometimes having the variable refresh rate on, and I went back and forth, plugging this in, plugging that, uh, the two different options um, in different games and back-to-back -back comparisons. I feel like in some first-person games, they just felt better with the variable refresh rate. However, in more third-person games, uh, things like that, I was fine without it. So in like Forza Horizon 4, uh, I loved having the full specs up, um, turned up all the way with the HDR at 120 hertz, all of that. Uh, Ori and the Blind Forest, not no, sorry, Ori and the Will of the Wisps looks great in HDR, and it was nice to be able to um, do that at the full spec, and it didn't bother me at all. In games like Red Dead Redemption 2 and a little bit of Cyberpunk, which have more like camera aiming with the mouse, I actually think it felt a little bit better to plug back in through my HDMI port. So it could depend on the game, which method you prefer. And honestly, if you buy this little adapter thing, it might seem kind of silly, but if you're playing a game where you really want to have the variable refresh rate, you could just plug back in via your HDMI port instead of the dongle adapter uh, based on the game that you're playing. But I did want to make sure this is out there as, as information that's available because I did end up searching and I saw stuff like this in a few little forums here or there, but I didn't notice many actual reviews mention this. And uh, yeah, I wanna make sure this, this info is out there. Just because you don't have an HDMI 2.1 uh, port doesn't mean you might not have that USB type C thing, which could get you everything, full spec, everything, except for that variable refresh rate. And uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I know this one might be more for a search feature on YouTube than, than my normal uh, uh, channel videos, something like that. But thank you to my regular subscribers who, who watched this. And uh, again, I will be working on a review after I've given myself another uh, while. I don't know, I haven't decided how long, week to something like that to play around with the screen and get all of my full thoughts after the honeymoon period is over. Now, I'm going to stop talking and uh, play some more games on this thing, man. It's awesome. Bye. <laughs>